Once again, Ippo vs. Ricardo, WBA anime match. Before we start, subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, share, leave a comment below what you think about this boxing video. With that being said, man, you better guard your grill. First of all, going to the World Arc 2. Mr. George Morikawa, I want to ask you something, man. Where in this mat, where in this fight is going to happen? We have been wondering. We have been waiting. We have been asking, where are you going to do this match? Huh? When? Because, see, it's the question. Ever since this boy... Announce his retirement. We thought we say, man, that's messed up. But there's something y'all did not know. Really, y'all, that's something y'all did not know. And that is, this guy was never going to retire. Ever since his going to the world ranking match against Alfredo Gonzalez. You guys never looked at the point of his ranking. Now you're thinking, what? Hold on, Chris. Wait a minute, dude. What do you mean by that? His ranking. Come on. This guy was a second ranker. That means tough as opponent. <laughs> Japan versus Mexico. Look at this boy's rank. The WBA 8th rank. WBC 7th rank. 24 matches with 23 wins. 23 by KO. And 1 loss. Seriously? So you just gonna make this boy just retire after this perfect record, huh? I mean, come on, man. You thought, oh my God, what was he thinking? No. No, he, he, he was thinking. He was thinking of a way to get Ippo to the top of the world. No lie. You're thinking, dude, that's kind of stupid. No, it's not. Because if it was stupid, you don't know how hard this boy had to fight. This is more worse. No. No, this is this is this is very crazy worse than we evolved Dante. But again. The boy's record and ranking says otherwise. I mean, the boy's WBC rank. So what's the problem with that part? Hmm. What's wrong? So, Mr. George Morikawa, this is what I want to ask you. How can you, Mr. George Morikawa, make this match happen? Now you're thinking, what? What do you mean? While one stands at the top of the world as a WBA featherweight champion, the other one is ready to fight this man one more time. Just one time. The man got the styles of Jack Dempsey and the body punches and guard of Mike Tyson. Plus, he got another star boxer. Because one, with those skills, he won his match against Takeshi Sendo. And they were fighting for this. 
this match, Ippo Sendo 2. And he won. I mean, come on now. Think about it, people. Think about it. These guys went to war. Okay, he they went to war. Kim Magal was about to throw the, the belt, the, the towel into the ring for a second time. With that Dempsey roll, laid him flat on his back. Like who? Sonny Liston. But he ain't stand up to get on, sucker. No, 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 no. <laughs> he was ready. <laughs> Cause see, when he won, he stood up, raising his arms like, wait a minute. Why that pose looks so familiar? <gasps> Ooh. What? I'm just saying. Well, I'm seeing. He did a rocky moment. Oh no wonder that Rocky. Theme song was so crazy. <laughs> yeah. Because, see, after that, his first title defense was in a movie. Forget the noise. I was wrapping up, uh, wrapping up something. Because, see, when that boy won the belt, his first title defense was in a movie that said, Rivals United. I mean, come on, man. For how many times you have hit the Dempsey roll on somebody, they just falter after the fact that you just scraped his chin. Really? Yes, really. Don't play. Because with that, that made that boy stand for his first type of offense. I mean, when are we ever going to see other types of fences? Come on, man. This is George Moe Cowell. You think we supposed to sit there and say, hey, shut up, okay? No, no, it doesn't work that way. We want to see what's more happening. Because with the second season after that movie, let's just say people... Went to the next level. <laughs> Miata. <laughs> Let me tell you something about Miata. His rival and friend. OPBF. Takamura. Junior middleweight champion. Best two out of three of the world of Asian and world titles. But we fought him right now, known as Yamichi. Let me just say this. You thought you'd never happen. Him going down that hall. And then there was his uh who if I'm not mistaken, it was his fifth type of defense. Ryohei Sarwao. Let me go ahead and say this right now. You thought that this match was never going to happen. We were wrong. Because when it happened, we was happy than the kid in the candy store. No lie. Because one, you hit my woman, I'm going to knock you out. In a way, we have seen it in mangas and anime. Three world champions, even one world champion, who whose shadow silhouette is right there behind Ricardo Martinez. Don't believe me? Look at the belt. On the right. Because <laughs> one, like I said before, 
You thought Ippo's was re Ippo were retired. No, he wasn't. Now you're wondering, okay, so what do you mean by no, he isn't? Uh, he ordered to get some mitts from Kamigawa, in which him, tr him and Ippo trained. Boom, 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 boom. Do you not see the fight that is happening? Even with the most powerful punch, he could have knocked Kamigawa out. Because, see, there's no point of a training when you know you're hitting your opponent. Boom, 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 boom. You're hitting that whole smack to the mid like you think. How powerful is this guy? Even Kamigawa was a little bit frightened. How his punches were sharp. How punches was cut clean. You know what I'm saying? Look at how the man is. Look at how this boy is throwing his punches, man. Look how fast and cut and clean they are. Them punches are hitting so hard, he almost knocked the mitt out of Kamigawa's hand. You better do let that happen. Kamigawa have a broken fist. A broken hand. Because see, Ippo, Ippo was not just at home, you know. Hey, guess what? I'm sitting at home and eat cookies and watch boxing. Because you know what his promise was? That he will return to world boxing. Yeah, as a trainer. Not as a boxer. Which is a shame. Somebody should get me a lawyer and let me sue somebody. You hear me what I'm saying, folks? This is not just any boxing video. Because one... Ricardo Martinez and Ippo doing a sparring match. We thought this is gonna be the next thing happen during second season. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Cause <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing. <laughs> I was just how, how I said that. <laughs> but still, no, it wasn't. Cause see, going to the world arc two. What made this match happen and unbelievably just exciting. And not only that, it will be for this belt. The WBA title. My friend talking about Chris. That's not the only belt he had no more. I said, yes it is. So Mr. George Morikawa. Again, let me ask you this. When is Ippo... And Ricardo gonna go at it. You have your main character. Now you have your best match. Who's ready? Oh yeah. We want to see this happen. Fight. Battle. KO. Decision. Champion. Main protagonist. Y'all feel me on this? With that being said, I'm your boy Chris Blatthorn Harris. Welcome to my boxing style. <laughs> I'm not guard my grill. Mr. George Morikawa, you better make this happen. Hip over WBA, featherweight champion.